Why 2020 was the year of Zinecraft? Well, let's start from the beginning. Fine. Ah! Yeah, it's been five years. I'm getting into 200. My first ever intro was released on January 1st, 2020, the beginning of this year. But to be honest, we should really begin here. The last video I made in 2019, this was on my second channel, and it was a bit of a video of me whining for uh, two minutes, talking about how I don't want to lose any friends or anything in 2020. And I did and did it, uh, but let's just take a quick listen to what I had to say to myself from 2019, January 31st. Just, like I said, keep everyone close to you as possible. Keep, keep Nate close to you. Keep Hannah close to you. Keep everyone you care about close to you. Okay, let's pause. So yeah, I'm a bit of a whiny whiner in that. And that may have also beca been because I dropped my phone earlier that very same day. But also because I was a scared little about moving. Now, back in August of 2019, I figured out that me and my family may or may not be moving to a different state. Well, to a putty brain of a 13-year-old like me back in that day, I was terrified. So it's obvious that I wanted to keep my group of friends. So my mom, being the nice person she is, bought me an iPhone 8 and gave it to me on Christmas Day. Now, I don't have the footage of me opening it, but here is a video I took. The first ever video I took with my iPhone 8. Yo, guys, trying out the new 8. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Now, with this phone, I would not only keep friends, but also the opportunity I have always been waiting for, better editing. As you guys know, I've been very rough and basically have no editing because of the services I used to use. But now, with this phone, I basically had pretty good editing. And over the past year, it's been pretty good. All right, now let's go back to 2020. This year um, began with some ideas I had. Starting off with um, a small little idea I had for the second channel called The Curse of 2170. This kind of got my idea more into skit making and everything. And that was back when the channel was just a game, supposed to be a gaming channel and uh, Zane was supposed to be a random stuff channel. But I experimented a lot during January with The Curse of 2170. And I made two episodes in the span of a week and kind of discovered m more my love for skit making, even though I already wanted to do acting. This kind of made my acting love grow and grow and grow and grow. All right, now February is where it really breaks down for the good ways and the bad ways. So let's go to February. So back in February, I came up with an idea once again on the second channel so this year started mainly on the second channel but we're gonna move to this channel in a second but during february i came up with a quick idea called content week now this got me more and more into producing more and more content and different types of content so i did music i did two music musical things for the content week i did some other things a skit two skits uh a video called inside the mind i should have covered that too but inside the mind is the thing i did on the second channel as well where i kind of talk about you know my thoughts and feelings more um but yeah i did this and i had a lot of fun with it the main thing was i made a song in five days and it was actually really good it was it's called the acne diss track uh, I'll play it for you guys right now. Nobody likes you, so get off my face. Get off my face. It's not your f***ing place. Yeah, get off. Get off. You really think I'm being soft? No, get the f*** are about to be blown up. 
you guys back. Pretty awesome, right? Has a bit of language, but that's just how I roll. But yeah, a bit after I did content week. Um, the thing I wanted most, didn't want most, happened. I lost my best friend. Um, well, the start to losing my best friend. I don't know if I should explain it, but uh, let's just say some things were said behind my back and they didn't know I was there on the call still and that started rapidly going down. So, yeah. Almost a month later, my mood got even worse with the news that COVID-19 had hit America and everyone had to lock down and quarantine. Now, this one made me going from not seeing one of my friends to not seeing all of my friends. And things just kept getting worse from there. But it did give me some time to think about my moving process, think about my friends, and also grow my channel. And in the first month, I made a new outro and I got to 180 subscribers, which was pretty good. But of course, 2020 is a gut punch of realities. And in April, I made the biggest mistake I've ever done. Severed the friendship. Basically what happened was in this video, I sort of explained the situation, even though I should have done it off camera. The thing is, I felt more comfortable addressing it in front of a video screen instead of through a text to call anything. And that was the stupidest mistake I ever made. Anyway, let's just say I said it and in the end, it ended up with my best friend and I not talking to It never really dawned on me for a while how much it hurt, but um, I kept continuing with my videos. And then I had one of the best ideas. For 200 subs, I would give away my Roblox account as a big celebration for reaching that milestone I've been waiting a couple of years to get. And I did the Roblox account giveaway and the response was insane. In less than a week, maybe two weeks, I got my goal. And a few days before my birthday, I reached 200 subscribers. And that was amazing. It was one of the best birthday gifts I could have ever asked for. And I was so insanely thankful and so happy. And I still am to have re reached the milestone that I wanted. Only then, at the end of June and the early July, started to dawn on me that I was getting closer and closer to actually moving out of my state. But I wouldn't let that get me down. I had some friends to talk to and some anime to watch. I got more into anime and everything, and I really enjoyed and loved it. But it did get down. It went pretty downhill immediately. Because I only had really one friend to talk to. And the friend I still talk to today. My friend Michael. And sadly, some shit went down. And he found out about something that I did. Something that we were supposed to keep a secret. Something that Michael wanted me to keep a secret about himself. But I told people like an idiot. And that is how... I started falling more and more into a state of, well, I don't know what you would call it, depression, anger, anything about myself. But I started feeling more and more sad as time went on. During this time, I just didn't know what to feel. I, like, I felt nothing. And for the first time in a while. I couldn't make videos. Now, I think I know why now, but I didn't know why then. I had a lot of good video ideas to talk about for the second channel, for the main channel, 
or just anything in general, but I couldn't do it. I didn't have, I couldn't like do it. And I think I know why now, like I said, it's because I would have straight gone back to making videos about how I was in the right and they were in the wrong. And that leads to even worse problems. And at this point, it finally dawned on me that losing my be other best friend was my fault as much as it was for losing Michael. And I just felt nothing during this point. I tried contacting friends, some friends of mine, friends that make me happy, but nobody answered. At this point, I was alone. Alone, for sure. Just nobody to talk to. Of course, I could have gone to my parents, but I just felt more comfortable around my friends. Friends, my friends and I play video games and we talk, but my parents are just there for me whenever I have anything bad going on. But yeah, just during this point, it was just a time of sadness and sorrow. Until Michael took a bit of pity on me. He called me up and he said it was on him. He shouldn't have said that. And we talked and we got everything under control. I'm just so glad that we figured things out. I figured things out. And I still had my best friend. Going into August strong, about to cross my five year anniversary on YouTube. I didn't do anything big. I was planning to, but still five years on the platform Whew. and i also had a trip at the beginning of august to go check out my next state because we were getting closer and closer to that deadline date and we finally figured out that i would be moving in september september and that was crazy but i felt like i was ready september comes along and all my bags are packed moving trucks come everything is out of my house the house is completely empty and i finally do move out of the state i have been living in for the past 14 years of my life all my life and it wasn't as bad it's been three months being in my new state and i've been having a lot of fun especially since i've been talking with more and more of my friends the friends I wanted to talk to when I was all alone and didn't have Michael to talk to. And even better, I'm talking to Michael more. I'm learning more about him and everything. And we're, we're making up some funny jokes and some funny future truths. Uh, <laughs> my, Michael will know what I'm talking about if, I'm, if I said it. But yeah, that's what 2020 taught me. Like, like um, 13 year old Zane on the last day of 2020 said he said I want to learn new lessons in 2020 and the lesson I learned is moving isn't that hard and you can always get back your friendships but YouTube's sake I keep growing I keep growing more and more and more and that makes me happy I'm making more skits I feel in a good mindset and for Christmas, I got a green screen, which will make my skits even better. So yeah, that is why 2020 was the year of Zanecraft.